So friends, uh, welcome back to part three of astigmatism correction. And today we are going to talk about how astigmatism uh, is corrected by glasses, right? To understand how astigmatism is corrected by glasses, we need to have the concept of transposition, how transposition is done, right? So let's take a prescription say for example prescriptions can be of many different types it could be say plano plus two at 90 degree we are, it could be say plus two minus three at 180 degree so there are many different types of prescriptions right and it could be also just plus two or it could be just uh, you know minus two what does that mean what does this different prescriptions talk about the patient's eye condition patient's refractive error so in, the, in this case the patient has plus two that means the patient is hyperopic he doesn't have any cylinder power it just is hyperopic, right? Rays of light going beyond the retina. So you need to dial in a plus two glass to bring that back to the retina. So the rays of light goes are going at back of the retina. You are dialing a plus two glass so that these rays of light now fall on the retina. In this case, the patient has no cylinder again, but the patients require minus two glass. And minus 2 here means that the patient's rays of light are falling before the retina. You dial in a minus 2 glass so that the rays of light now falls on the retina. Right? In both these examples, plus 2 or minus 2, the patient doesn't have a cylinder. Right? But our class is on astigmatism and how, especially part 3, how we correct astigmatism with the world of glasses. So when patients have astigmatism, the prescriptions can be of two different types. Here in number one, we find the patient has plano plus two at 90 degree. Plano means the patient does not have a spherical power, right? So he does not have a spherical power. That part is spherical power. But the patient has cylinder. You can see over here the patient has cylinder. And the, how much is the cylinder? Plus 2. So the first component speaks about the sphere. Here the sphere is 0. Plus 2. The patient has a cylinder, however. That is, he has a difference in principal meridians. And where does he need the plus 2? At an axis of 90 degree right so let's look into this example more and i will just for this moment i will just rub this out so let's work on this we know plano patient has a cylinder plus two plus is the sign over here so he is this is a plus glass plus cylinder positive cylinder format at 90 degree axis so if you have to transpose this transposition you have one principal meridian over here. This is the flat meridian. I'm transposing this to find out the second principal meridian, which would be the steeper meridian. To find this, always add sphere plus cylinder. So add the sphere component with the cylinder. So you get, when you add this, 0 plus 2. Plano means 0. So 0 plus 2, you get plus 2. The next step is now change this sign from plus to minus. Change the sign. If it had been minus 2, you would have had to change this from minus to plus. But in this case, you have plus. So you have to make it minus. The cylinder doesn't change. So the 2 remains here. The cylinder doesn't change because the difference between two principal meridians doesn't change, right? Whether you see through a minus axis or a plus axis, the cylinder doesn't change. So minus two at, now add 90 degree 
to this axis. So 90 degree plus 90 will be 180 degree, right? So now you have done a transposition. Plano plus 2 at 90 degree. We added the sphere and the cylinder, so we got plus 2, plus 2 here. Then we change the plus to a minus sign. The cylinder doesn't change because the difference in principal meridians doesn't change. And then we sh shift the axis by 90 degree. We change the axis by 90 degree, in this case 180. So what we get by doing this transposition is that we now get one principal meridian which is Plano and we get another principal meridian which is plus 2. So the patient needs a glass which would look like this here. So your glass is look, will look like this. So, sorry. So your glass actually will look that, like this. You have Plano where? You have Plano at 90 degree. Plano will go with 90 degree. So where is 90 degree? We know 90 degree is here. So you have a Plano over here. You have no power over here. So this is 90 degree. You have no power. Your zero comes over here. You are not putting any power in the glass plane at 90 degree. You have to put plus 2. Where does this plus 2 go? At 180 degree. So you put plus 2 at 180 degree. And this is how your glass will look like. So you have a plus 2 at 180 degree. That's the first principal meridian. And you have a plano. This is the second principal meridian, which is a zero power. So that means the patient has... Uh, only cylinder so he has a plus 2 glass he needs a plus 2 glass at 180 degree meridian and a plano power at 90 degree meridian how you do the transposition again sphere plus cylinder is the first state so you add plano plus 2 so you get plus 2 change the minus plus to the minus form if it had been minus you would have done it plus so here it is plus you are putting it minus the cylinder doesn't change because the difference between the two principal meridians never change. So the cylinder is the same. At change it to 90 degree, by 90 degrees. So your axis in one principal meridian is at 90 degree. Second principal meridian is at 180 degree. Very easy. Let's take another example over here. Again, this we will take uh, an example where the patient has again cylinder only. No spherical power, only the cylinder component. In this case, say for example, the patient again has Plano plus uh, or minus 4 at 45 degree. Right? So again, sphere plus cylinder. How much is this? This is minus 4. Because you do a sphere plus cylinder. Cylinder is minus 4, sphere is plano, you get a minus 4 as a result. You change this sign to plus format now. Because remember the second step in transposition is changing the sign from to the opposite sign. From if it had if it is minus here, you have to put it to plus. And then your cylinder format, your cylinder magnitude remains the same because again the difference between the principal meridians does not change. And you have to change the axis by 90 degrees. So you have to put, uh, you, you have to change it by 90 degrees. So it is 135 degrees over here. So now in this example, you got a plano in one meridian which is 45 degrees. And you have a minus 4 at 135 degrees. So how does your glass look like now? Your glass looks like something like this. So you have a my plano at 45 degrees. So if this is 0 degree, this is 45 degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 135 degrees, this is 180 degrees, right? So you have a plano at 90 degrees, so you do not put any power over here. You do not put a pow pow any power, so that it is plano here, zero power. 
but you have minus 4 at 135 degree which means that your minus 4 will come at 135 degrees right uh, sorry uh, the axis over here is 45 degrees so the axis is 0 so this you do not put any power the plano goes at 45 degree because this is uh, the original axis and minus 4 goes to 135 degrees minus 4 goes to 135 degrees so minus 4 goes at 135 degrees here so plano at 45 degrees minus 4 at 135 degrees so I hope this is clear now now I need to also explain you uh, a second uh, uh, you know form of prescriptions that may come uh, for example in this case let's take an example that the patient has both a spherical power as well as a cylinder so in this case the patient has both a spherical power and I think this is getting a little so the patient has both a spherical power as well as a cylinder so in this case the patient has a minus 2 plus uh, 4 at 90 degrees unlike the last two examples where the patient had a plano and a cylinder only or astigmatism only in this case the patient is having both the spherical power as well as cylinder this is the spherical component over here this is the spherical component what you understand by minus 2 what we understand is that the patient is myopic so we actually now do the transposition so minus 2 plus 4 will be plus 2 then we change the sign over here we change the sign to minus because it is in plus form the cylinder component remains the same over here the cylinder component doesn't change because again the difference between two principal meridians remains the same and we change the axis by 90 degrees so you have 180 degree now because 90 plus 90 is 180 degree you have always to change the axis by 90 degrees so the first principal meridian is here the second principal meridian is here so you have a minus 2 that goes at 90 degree so in this glass you have a minus 2 that goes at 90 degree and you have a plus 2 that goes at 180 degrees so this is what the glass of the patient will look like now if you remember from part 2 where we talked about the different forms of astigmatism the simple myopic astigmatism uh, compound myopic astigmatism mixed astigmatism different forms of astigmatism we discussed in part 2 can you tell me what type of astigmatism is this well you're right this is a mixed astigmatism you have a minus in one uh, meridian you have a plus in another meridian so it's a mixed astigmatism now uh, you know in this case it's good to also think of and we will keep the same example over here uh, you know uh, in this case uh, we, this is remember it's a glass correction right this is a glass correction that we are giving to the patient plus 2 at 180 degree minus 2 at 90 degree what will be the patient's eye condition then what is the error in the patient's eye so if we take this as the as the error in the patient's eye and we are giving this glass to correct that error remember this is the steep meridian of the glass this is the steep meridian of the glass in the glass this is the steep meridian this is the flat meridian in the glass right so in the in the eye why are we putting the flat meridian at 90 degree because in the eye this must be steep the patient must be having a WTR so this patient is having a steep in the eye at 90 degree 
So that is why the glass is being put over here like this. So if we put the glass like this over here, we put a minus 2 over here because you have a plus over here, you have a steep meridian here. And we put a plus 2 over here at 180 degree because you have at 180 degree you have basically a, a you know the steep meridian is now negating the flat meridian of the cornea. So this is basically the flat meridian of the leg of the eye. So we are now negating it with the steep meridian of the glass. And this is how uh, the concept of astigmatism correction with glasses goes on. If you have doubts still, you can put your comments in the in the comment section. You can you can ask questions in the comment section, and I'm sure to get back to you. Please keep on watching the astigmatism series. Thank you.